Hey everyone, Rachel here with Rachel Janine Crafts. So I've got a few projects for us tonight. So let's get started. Um, I do want to show y'all what I'm working on. These little um, foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. You can paint them. I had to put three coats of, of the navy blue on there to cover it, but I've got some cute ideas that we're gonna do with these. So I got a few started by painting them. So if y'all have a Dollar Tree nearby, make sure you pick up these because we got several different um, projects we're gonna do with that. So let's get started because we've got at least three different projects to do tonight. And the first one is going to be a Walmart project. Hey, Miss Peggy, thank you for joining me. I'm Rachel with Rachel's Unique Crafts, and I don't think I said that tonight. So, um, if anybody new jumps on or watches the replay, that's who I am. So, I got this little board from Walmart. And it's an 8 by 10 um, and it's just got the edges kind of cut off so see how they're slanted so um, there's my mom some of Stephanie I think said hello y'all I'm trying to read and I back the camera up even further um, so tonight we're gonna take this board and I have already made two of these. This one's eight by 10. I don't know how big this one is. I made these two last year. It's 12 by 16. So it's big. And this one, I took a piece of cardboard and I just wrapped jute around it. I just kind of cut it in a um, slant. And there's my sweet friend, Miss Robin. And we've got some lace and a bow, and I like pearls, and I like lace. So this is kind of shabby farmhouse. That's what I would call it. So anyway, we're going to take our board that we got from Walmart. Now, you can get these little sayings. Can't even hold them tonight, y'all. But thank the Lord, it's Friday. This says grateful. This one says thankful. They come from Hobby Lobby. I know y'all are shocked. They're like a dollar forty-nine. Um, I painted this one with some navy. Y'all, I'm gonna add some navy into my fall decor this time. You can get these little um this is a little tree limb. You can buy them or you can go outside and get one off of a tree. So let's get started. I got a, a ball, it's a knob, it's flat on one side with a hole in it. You can get these from Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our, our stick. You can buy these in a pack or you can go outside and cut you some. So we're gonna get right on into this. So we have time to do all three crafts tonight. But now if you wanted, these are kind of like whitewashed. So if you wanted them a different color, you could paint them. You could put some orange on them or beige. Or if you're into the blues, like I'm going to add some navy into mine. Um, you could kind of antique them if you wanted to. So we got our stem on. Now I'm going to use this this ball here, this knob, because it's got a flat side. And I'm going to put it on the back to hold it up. Now, it's not going to, I'm not going to have it all the way to the end or it would sit straight up. I want it just a little bit at an angle. Just 
just like that. Now on this big one, because it was so big, look what I did. I put two of them and then I put a popsicle stick on each side because the just the little knobs was not holding it. So when I put the popsicle sticks on there and I just hot glued them, it holds it perfect. And I made that last year and it still stands. So, but on the small ones, the eight by 10, just the little knob there will hold it. So we've got our stand built back here. We've got our, um, our little stem. that up under there so it doesn't knock that off. Um, we're going to add some of this lace. This lace ribbon. This one came from Hobby Lobby. Not pretty. If y'all can see that or not. And this one... Came from Hobby Lobby, I think. Now it's a little piece of lace, and it's got like some pearls in the middle of it. So it's real uh, dainty and feminine and shabby looking. And this one I think came from the Dollar Tree, and it's just a, like a little lace. Um, kind of like this. It's not really like a, it's kind of like a, a embro, or a, what you call that? Y'all know what I'm saying. Or do y'all? Embroidery, kind of. Is that what I'm trying to say? My, um, my work brain needs to turn off so I can get my weekend brain on. Okay, so I'm going to take this and crochet. That's what I'm trying to think, or knit it. Uh, um, crochet lace. That's what I'm thinking. I told y'all I'd think about it. Okay. And I'm just, until that gets really dry, I just don't want the stem there to get knocked off so let me put a little bit of hot glue up here see how pretty and simple these are i'm gonna put a little bit of this embroidery lace Crochet lace. Which one is it, y'all? But they're they both are kind of the same, but they one's the thick the wide one came from Hobby Lobby and the narrow one came from um the Dollar Tree. And I try to pick those up when I see them because I use them in a lot of crafts. And then this one has got the beads in it and it came from Hobby Lobby. It's going to add a little different texture and a little different color because it's, um, it's kind of an off-white. It's not really a white-white and it's not cream. And it's got the beads on it. So now, this is what it's looking like. There's Miss Dawn. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. How are you, Miss Dawn? All right. So now, y'all, this is, let me put it on here. You might can see it better. It's like a piece of lace. In fact, you, or a ribbon. You can buy it in the ribbon department, I think, at Hobby Lobby. But it's like little leaves. And I've got them on both of those. And I 
I'm just going to cut it just like there. But these are just, if you see anything that, you know, even if it's kind of square, you can still make it kind of look like a pumpkin. And this one's just got the little edges cut off there. And I've got this um, burlap little flower. And y'all, I um, think you can get them. At, in fact, I know you can at Hobby Lobby, at Michael's. I'm going to put this little thankful um, wood word here on the front of this one because when I decorate with them, the smaller one's going to be in front anyway because I debated on which one should I put it on. Should I put it on the tall one or the small one? But see how cute. Let me get it up close where y'all can see it. Is that spelled right for y'all? I can't see. Sprinkle, thank you, Miss Dawn. I appreciate that. Appreciate that so, 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 so very much. That helps me. Okay, so we've got our three pumpkins here. Okay, that's craft number one. Let me get that out. All right, we have. Y'all know we made one of these, and it's brown. So, Ben's y'all have seen me make that. I went ahead and painted this because we're doing another one, and we're going to do a different little spin to it, okay? So, we got to have some. And this is from the Dollar Tree, these buckets. And I, I was in there the other day and I picked up five. So we're gonna use two of them tonight. But, and I turned this one upside down and I painted it um, beige and it's kind of got some of the, um, hey, Miss Marianne, thank you for joining us. It's kind of got some of the metal showing through and this is just a um, cake pan. So, I'm gonna use this E6000, my favorite stuff, y'all. And I need to go get some more. So, but Ben's, we had already made one of these on a video. I said I'd go ahead and paint them because y'all know what, y'all watched me paint the other one. I got to try to get this in the center. And I think that's pretty close. And y'all know the E6000 takes about 24 to 48 hours to dry. Okay, I'm gonna probably need that again in a few minutes. Now, let me show y'all what we're gonna do. I had these up there and I think it makes this look so cute. This is one inch wood balls, but they're split in half. So, um, they're not, um, a, a, round, a solid round ball. They're they're half of a ball and I bought them like that off of Amazon I just stuck my finger right in that I did y'all I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing here I got 
um, hot glue stringing everywhere. Um, if y'all go to Hobby Lobby, you will see all kind of little cake plates. See how cute that's looking? Do I have them anywhere near straight? That's my question. Um, but y'all see cake plates all in Hobby Lobby. And they have these little um, beads going all the way around them. So I thought, why can't we put them on here and get the same effect? So, y'all, I am loving this. I got my nose itching over here. Y'all know every time I come in here, my nose itches. I'm just loving this. Now I'm hoping I got enough to go around. I think I do. I'm gonna order me some more of these little um, half beads these are the one inch but you could put these on so many different things i i really like them i think it's making a big difference in how it looks so you wouldn't think that it was just a two dollar little tray here and you could even do a tear tray and do these wouldn't that be cute I think I'm gonna barely have enough I think I had 18 two left over so it takes and I spaced them out a little bit so if you wanted to put them right next to each other you'd need to have probably twice that many I got glue strings y'all look how cute um, it's 3.15 a.m. here hey Monica but I want to watch this when I, when I catch a live show. <laughs> I'm so happy you got to join us. Y'all, uh, Monica is in Sweden. So she says it's 3.15 there and it is 8.15 here in the States in Mississippi. I'm so glad you're getting to join us. Yay! So, did you see the, the pumpkin that we made? And now we have moved on to this little cake plate. Now, I will probably dab some paint on there. Um, the, these candles came from Amazon also. And they have the little moving um, little flame in them. Y'all probably can't see it moving, but anyway, it moves and it um, looks like it's really lit. Now, they're on a timer, so whatever time you turn them on, um, they will stay on. Let me see a timer. They'll stay on six hours and go off for 18 and come back on at six hours again. So, these are some navy blue sunflowers. I told y'all I'm going to add some blue into my uh, fall decor. Um, let's see. Did 
this thing is gonna let me see see how I can <clears throat> get this thing and some lamb's ear would be really pretty in here I don't know let's see I don't like the real bright orange on there. And I like that tan. And I have another uh, video coming out, y'all. I gotta, I gotta find out how to um, put two videos together. My friend, Miss Robin, on here. She told me how to do it. And I wrote it down, and I'm knocking these things. I wrote it down, and I gotta find where I put it, put my note, because I was making um, an arrangement with the wire um, baskets, the pumpkin baskets, and it went off of the recording, it stopped recording. And when it did, I didn't know it. So then, I don't know how long I was off. I realized it. So luckily I wasn't finished with the arrangement and I went back and continued. But that arrangement is so pretty so I can't wait for y'all to see it. So Miss Robin, I may be hollering at you. Okay, let me get, y'all, I'm gonna get this situated. Hang on just a second. I want y'all to see this. But I, I just don't. I got a bucket over here. Look at here. Miss Monica, I can't believe you got up at 3.15 in the morning to watch me. That is so sweet. and sweet and y'all she doesn't have dollar trees over there either she doesn't have hobby lobbies and that's a dedicated um friend and follower right there to get up at 3 15 to watch a live kind of special. Okay. I like these more muted colors. I want some blue right back over here peeping out, y'all. And I'm going to have to go back to Hobby Lobby and see if they got some more of these navy blue leaves. Got that pumpkin sticking out. Now, how cute is that, Monica? Well, I don't want to miss a live show with you and I. I think I do. See oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So, this is our blue. just got home. Oh, Miss Deborah, I'm so sorry. She's been in the hospital. I hope you're feeling better. 
That ain't nothing nice. Sending hugs and prayers for you that you get to feeling better. It's the wrong, it's fixing to get fall around here and it's time to be well. It's time to feel good. Which anytime's not a good time to feel bad. Okay, so we made our pumpkin. This is the one from Walmart. Thank you, you are so very welcome. And then here's our um, bucket and our cake pan uh, from the Dollar Tree. You can get a, a cake pan from Walmart um, and they probably have some little buckets. So, we've got two down and one to go. So, let's do another one real quick. Y'all look at all this. Look at all this. All right. And I'm probably gonna do something later with some more of these. I just love those navy blue sunflowers. Guess what we're using, another bucket that one i already took the or most of it i did i thought i got it all the sticker off of it y'all took my nails off i hadn't even had time to redo them it's just a busy time right now so i'm scraping the rest of this little sticker off i thought i had got it all but i didn't Okay, that's good. Now, this came from the Dollar Tree, and this came from the Dollar Tree. So, I got some Waverly chalk paint here. Get me on. And I'll probably touch up those little knobs with some of this, but I ain't gonna make y'all watch me do that. So all I'm going to do is just dab a little paint on them. And I'm going to do this bucket the same way. And I'm, I'm just um, stroking it on there. So it's not covered completely. But yet it has some dark um, strokes and some light strokes. where that where the seam is got to get it a little bit better so I'm just kind of leaving it thick um, in some places and brushing it thin in others and this Waverly paint um, the chalk paint it'll adhere to the little metal real good so all we're doing is just getting most of it covered Walmart has this Waverly paint I heard some people say that they weren't gonna carry it anymore our Walmart is carrying more than they used to so I don't know if it's just some stores or not and other stores are I don't know and it's hard to tell with Walmart so All right, that's good. It's not perfect, but we don't want it perfect. Let me put a little bit up here on top so it don't look like we got two different things going on. I'm gonna leave that right there because I'm gonna use it to touch up that. All right. I've got more of the little um, half balls. I don't need you no more. And these, those were um, one inch. These are about three quarters of an inch. Here they go running from me. 
like the other night when those balls we was putting on that um uh what do you call that pumpkin um wire wreath frame and those little beads kept running from me I was chasing them all over all over this room and the next day I found beads everywhere and I like y'all I you know um, I was making that snowman the other night and when it fell off the table you know I was finished with it but when it fell off the table I hunted that thing and hunted that thing finally I found it but it was like two days later it was it fell up under so this is not going to take long and it's going to be so cute and it's going to match that get that out of the way for y'all Oh, my nose is itching. I'm popping it off because I think I got that one a little low. When they get, when the glue gets hard on there, it's it's hard to get them to pop off. Okay, probably two or three more and we're done with this. There's one busted in half. I'll put the link in the um, description for y'all for these little half beads because you can make just about anything with these things. This glue is stringing tonight. I don't know if it's not hot enough. Okay. Our wonderful E6000. And y'all can get um, some glass glue if you wanted to. But um, this E6000 will glue just about anything. It's not touching it too much, so let me put some on the edge here. Up here, it's got a rim that's sticking up. Now, if you got some little tea lights, you could put tea lights in here. And they have tea lights on Amazon. I want to order some, but I don't have any at the time. That they're the little taller tea lights, and they are on a timer also. And I think they would be very pretty. But I'll take this out of here just to show y'all. Now we're not finished. Gotta have some ribbons and bows. And you could put um, this size of ribbon, or you could um, get some thicker ribbon, or you could get some thinner ribbon. Here we go. Mm, yeah, it's got to be longer. Got to be longer. All right. I'll take it off so I can. Y'all with wired ribbon, you know, if it's 
flat, you can always just run it through your fingers like this, and it just smooths it out and curls it up. Wire ribbon is the only way to go. Let's see if I can get this one tied right. I can make a big bow. These little bows are a killer. A big bow is actually easier to make than a little bow. All right, I'm gonna um, cut this at an angle. Y'all know I usually do my dovetails, but we're gonna do these at an angle. And I'm gonna curl it like a ringlet, you know, like our mamas put it in our hair when we was little girls. Y'all please tell me my mama did not was not the only mama that done that. I never did my little girls that way. Cause I don't have any. I got all boys. All boys. Okay. So y'all look here. Isn't that cute? Let me get it back down. And I'll turn it around so y'all can see all the little um, beads that we put around here. Isn't that cute? So, um, let me see, I might have a tea light. Well, this one is not, well, it would probably help if I pulled the little plastic out. So you could put a tall one, or you could put a little short one in there. See how cute. So I like it with either or. And I'm going to turn my bow around so that it's centered to the back seam of this. Isn't that cute? So you could put the little tea light or you could put the tall one. And those are actually the um, same color as the the paint. So we got that arrangement, this arrangement, and then we did this pumpkin. So we got some fall going on finally. So I may get decorated after all, y'all. And you could do a tear tray with these. You could actually get a small, um, either a, a big fat dowel and I thought I had bought some the other day. I had it in my buggy and it probably got left on the counter at Walmart. So you could put a dowel and put another um, pie pan up here, cake pan, um, and make a tiered tray out of it. All kind of stuff. So anyway, this one came from Walmart. And these came from Dollar Tree and these came from Dollar Tree. Now, the flowers, I got at a local store by the name of Shirley's. Uh, she's not online or anything. She's only local. Um, this pumpkin, I think, came from the Dollar Tree last year because I redid it, recovered it. And these orange and yellow flower leaves came from Walmart. And the blue, navy blue ones, I want to go back and get me some more because they came from Hobby Lobby. Hopefully they have not sold out. We shall see. But I'm loving the blue in there. And I'm knocking everything over. So that's what we have for tonight. So I hope y'all like this. Um, these crafts, y'all can make some fall decor. And... Start decorating. Get ahead of me because I'm still lagging. Hey, I, I actually have my totes open and I have a few things out. I just haven't got them all decorated or put it where they're supposed to go. 
So I have got one more step forward. So anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll go back and see all the comments that I missed and chit chat with y'all. So y'all have a blessed and wonderful weekend. And I will see y'all Tuesday night, I guess. Um, it'll be at 7 o'clock, so it'll be an hour uh, earlier. 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. So, until then, y'all remember, I love you all. And y'all get to crafting and make something beautiful. And until next time, I love you all. Good night, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all. And for sprinkling. The other night I knocked this thing. So let's see if I don't knock it. Oh, good night, y'all. Thank you, Miss Monica. You take care and stay safe, my friend. And love and blessings to you. Get my big head out of that camera. Good night, y'all.